Hello, welcome to another video of the complete Angular course. The focus of this video is to implement the functions for the authenticator component. Users will be able to register for an account, log in with the account, and reset the password. To begin, open your project from where we left off in the previous video. Go to the authenticator component TypeScript file, import the Firebase TS art class, and create a Firebase TS art object. The Firebase TS art class contains function to manage the authentication part of Firebase. If we go to the Firebase console and look on the left side, there's a tab called Authentication. Click on it and you will see an interface with four tabs. You may have to click on a button called Get Started if you do not see this page. This is where we manage and set the parameters for our users. The Users tab will show us all the users that are registered for the app. The Sign In method tab is where we set how the user can register and log into our app. By default, everything is set to disable so no one will be able to register or log in. Click on the email slash password provider and enable it. If we want users to be able to log in with their Google account, we will click on Google and enable it as well. So right now, users can register for an account using an email and password and also log in with that account, or they can register and log in with a Google account. The Templates tab is where we set the templates for our emails that we send out. If we want our registered users to verify their email, we will run a function from the Firebase TS art class, and it will send an email to the user using this template. It is also the same for resetting the password. To edit the templates, click on the Edit Template icon on the top right. The Usage tab Show us how much resources we are using for authentication. Go back to Visual Studio Code. To remind you how our app is connected with Firebase, we imported the Firebase TSR class in the app module file and linked it to the project by calling the init function. Go to the authenticator component HTML page and add a template reference for the three inputs in the register content. Call the email input register email. Use the hash symbol and then the name. Call the password input, register password, and the confirm password input, register confirm password. Attach a click event to the register button and pass in the three template references. Go to the Authenticator Component TypeScript file and define the function. For the type of each parameter, Set it to HTML input element since we are referencing input elements. Inside the function, get the value of each input.
to create an account, grab the Firebase TS art object and call the create account with function. The function takes in the JSON object with up to four properties. The first two properties are for the email and password. The next two properties are for the callback functions on complete and on fail. The on fail callback function gets triggered when it fails to create the account. Call the alert function and print out a message when it fails. The onComplete callback function gets triggered when it completes the transaction and creates the account. Call the alert function in here as well to print out a message. The email and password properties are the value that will be used when creating the account. Replace the empty quotes with the email and password values from the input. This is enough to create the account. But as best practice, we should do some checks for the values before creating the account. Create a function called isNotEmpty. The purpose of this function is to check if the value is empty or not. Add a parameter called text with the type string. For the return statement, check if it's not null and has a length greater than zero. Create another function called isAMatch. This function will check if two strings are equal. Add two parameters to it to accept two string values. For the return statement, check if both strings are equal. Go back to the onRegister click function and wrap the code to create the account with an if statement. Inside the parentheses, check if all the input is not empty, and then call the isAMatch function to check if both password inputs are equal. Lastly, we set each input when it completes and creates the account. If we run our app, we will be able to create an account with an email and password. Click on the Get Started button and toggle the register content. Enter a valid email and password and click Register. If you type everything correctly, we will get a pop-up message that says Account Created. If we go back to the Firebase console and refresh the data for our users, our account will show up. If we enter a valid email, we'll get an error. Now let's add the login feature. Go to the Authenticator Component XTML page and add a template reference for the two inputs in the login content. Call the email input login email and the password input login password. Attach a click event to the login button and pass in the two template references.
go to the authenticator component TypeScript file and define the function. The type of the parameters are also HTML input elements. Inside the function, get the values of the input. Then use the if statement to check if both values are not empty. Inside the if statement, grab the Firebase TS alt object and call the signed in with function. The function takes in a JSON object with up to five properties, but we just need four. The first two will be the email and password. The next two will be for the on complete and on fail callback functions. The onFail callback function will get triggered when it fails to log in. Call the alert function and print out a message. The onComplete callback function gets triggered when it successfully logs in. Call the alert function as well. The email and password values are used as credentials when logging in. Replace the empty quotes with the email and password values. If we run the app, we'll be able to log in. If we enter an email that does not exist, we'll get an error. This is because we cannot log in with an account that does not exist in our database. To add the feature for resetting the password, go back to the Authenticator Component HTML page and add the template reference for the email input. Call it Reset Email. Then attach a click event to the Reset button and pass in the reference. Go to the Authenticator Component TypeScript file and define the function. Inside the function, get the value of the email and use an if statement to check if the value is not empty. To reset the password, grab the Firebase TSR object and call the send password reset email function. The function takes in a JSON object with up to two properties. The first property it needs is the email, and the second property is the onComplete callback function. The onComplete callback function will get triggered at the end of the process even if it fails, so keep that in mind. Call the alert statement The email property is the email that we want to send the instructions to. Run the app on the browser and toggle the reset password content. Then enter the email for the account.
When you see the alert pop up, log into the email and check your inbox. You will see a no reply email from the project. Click on it and you will see the instructions to reset the password. If we click on the link, it will bring us to another page to reset our password. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. In the next video, we add the feature to close the bottom sheet and detect when a user logs in and out of the app, so we can control what the users can do if they are logged in. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.